Happy New Year, everyone. So, we are already done with the first quarter of our lesson. And th uh, this year, we are going to start with the second quarter lessons. So, mainly this year will be all about, um, still about the cell because general biology one is mainly all about cells. But for the second quarter, we are going to discuss on how our cell transforms the energy that our being uh, that are coming from the food that we eat and the f how also plants make their own food but we are going to start with the first lesson about energy transformation and that would be the ADP ATP cycle so let's have first the lesson overview in this um, topic so as we all know all life on earth depends on the flow of energy through our echo systems so the transfer of energy um, goes from one ecosystem to another to another and then it flows in one big cycle so yung energy na nakukuha natin as people as human human beings syempre ito ay nanggagaling din from other uh, beings so from other animals or from plants so mainly ang earth natin um, nabubuhay siya with that of our, uh, with the transfer of energy through different ecosystems. Ultimately, uh, all energy on Earth comes from our sun. So, kung titignan natin yung um, food chain pyramid natin, di ba? Uh, the primary ones would be our producers, yun yung mga plants natin. And they are greatly dependent on the sun, which is responsible para magkaroon tayo ng production ng food sa mga halaman natin. So, mainly or ultimately, energy comes from the sun. So, based on that, meron tayong dalawang klase ng organisms na meron tayo dito sa earth. So, we have organisms that are capable to make their own food. We call them as autotrophs. So, ibig sabihin, kaya nilang gumawa ng sarili nilang pagkain. Mainly, they use light energy coming from the sun na nga in order to produce glucose or sugar. Yung iba naman, they make use of chemicals naman. Okay, so still, autotrophs yon. They make their own food. Aside from light energy, they can use chemicals para makapag-produce sila ng sugar or ng glucose. And other organisms, kasama naman tayo dito, we are not capable to make our own food. We just harness the energy coming from the food that we eat. So, we must eat plants or other animals that eat plants are examples of these organisms. At ang tawag natin ay hetero Trops. So, ulitin ko lang, autotrops are organisms that are capable to make their own food. On the other hand, heterotrops cannot make their own food. Okay? So, likely, itong mga autotrops natin, sila ang naging source ng energy natin. And they, um, sila naman, nakakapag-produce sila ng pagkain nila coming from the light energy from the sun or chemicals na meron sa surroundings nila. So, what will be the objective of our this week's discussion? So, you should be able to explain coupled reaction processes. So, meron tayong dalawang process na mamayan na discuss, And how does this two, uh, how do these two uh, reaction processes are uh, doing the cycle na magkasunod or lagi silang hand in hand kung mangyari. And of course, we are going to describe the role of ATP or adenosine triphosphate doon sa uh, energy coupling and pag-transfer ng energy natin from one form to another. So that would be our goal for this week. So let's just have a quick review on the term. So we have ATP or adenosine triphosphate. Okay, so this is the major energy currency of the cell. Kung dito sa mundo ang nagpapaikot ng mundo, sabi nga nila, it would be money. Okay, but for our cell, ang parang umiikot dito na nagpapagana ng lahat ng mga processes natin would be ATP or adenosine triphosphate. So it provides the energy para sa mga energy consuming activities ng cell natin. And this is a big molecule that is made up of five smaller molecules bonded together. So ano tong mga molecules na to? We have adenine, ribose, and of course, we have the three phosphate groups. Kaya triphosphate ang dawag natin. So, if you combine adenine and ribose, that would be 
nucleic acid, yung adenine natin, and then ribose would be our sugar. So, pag pinagsama natin yun, adenosine triphosphate. So, parang ganyan siya. So, adenosine triphosphate. So, you have your adenine, the red one, and then your um, blue one would be your ribose. And the three are the triphosphate groups. Okay, we have ADP as well. Kung kanina, that, that lame phosphate, now we have two phosphate groups. So, it's composed of adenosine still, but only two phosphate groups. So, ganyan ang insura niya. So, wala na yung isa pang phosphate. Na-detach niya siya. So, it's ADP. Pagdadalawa na lang. We also have what we call, at yung sinasabi ko kanina, the reaction. So, we have two reactions. We have the endergonic reactions, or also known as the anabolic reactions, are non-spontaneous and usually occur in organisms because they need to synthesize complex molecules such as fats, amino acids, and sugar. So, pag sinabi natin endergonic reactions, we are creating something. We are um, crafting something para makabuo tayo ng uh, biomolecules natin, which are the fats, the amino acids, and then our sugars. So, bumubuo tayo ng mga yun. So, para saan ba yung mga yun? It could be for your uh, muscles. Pwede rin naman sa bones ninyo. Pwede din sa um, mga tissues na kailangan ng katawan natin. So, endergonic reactions are responsible para makabuo tayo ng mga on the other hand, we have exergonic reactions naman, or the catabolic, kabaliktad, ana yung kanina, ito naman catabolic reaction. So, ito naman ay spontaneous, or favorable chemical reactions wherein the products are at a lower energy level than the reactants. Okay, so yung products natin dito, mas mababa yung level ng energy niya rather than the reactants. So, in this case, the reactions release more energy than what was in re required initially. So, what is now the ADP, ATP cycle? Actually, pwedeng mag-interchange lang naman to. It would be ADP or ADP, ATP, ADP or ADP, ATP cycle. So, it has everything to do with the storage and the use of energy in living things. So, pwede tayong mag i or gagamit ng energy. So, yun yung meron sa ATP-ADP cycle natin. So, energy is defined as the ability to do work. And there are two types of energy. Okay? So, we have the first one is potential energy. And the second one is kinetic energy. As we all know, potential energy is the stored energy that is currently not in use. Okay, so please keep this in mind. Na kapag potential energy, ito yung hindi ginagamit. It's the energy at rest. But it is available and can be released at a later point. So, pwedeng ma-release later on pagkailangan na. On the other hand, kinetic energy is the free energy. The energy at work. Okay? That is being used now and is doing the work. So, stored energy, ang ating potential energy. And then, ang atin namang would be free energy. Okay? So, pag potential energy natin, uh, please keep in mind, we have what we call as chemical bonds. So, they contain potential energy because when they are broken, their energy stored with them is released. Okay? So, ang potential energy natin, may kita natin yun sa chemical Bonds. So, for example, we have um, AT, uh, ATP. So, meron tayong uh, phosphate group. ba? So, itong chemical bonds na ito, at ito, at ito, meron tayong potential energy sa mga yan. Okay? Meron tayong potential energy dyan. So, doon nakastore yung potential energy natin. Okay? On the other hand, Yung kinetic energy naman, siya naman yung responsible doon sa pwedeng magawa sa loob ng cell. So, gagamitin niya yung stored energy sa chemical bonds na yon para magamit siya sa lahat ng processes na makakabuo ng molecules, ng organelles, ng tissues, ng um, organ system, etc. Et so, yun yung pagkakaiba ng potential energy and our kinetic energy energy.
Okay, so again, kanina nabanggit natin ATP contains energy na ipakita ko na in sa inyo yun kanina. Diba? So, kung ang ATP natin, it is made up of 3 phosphate groups na magkakadikit. Ayan. So, saan natin gagamitin yung ATP na yun? So, kung makikita natin dito, ayan, may line siya dyan. It transfer the energy from the breakdown of food molecules to cell function. So, itong energy natin na to, itong ATP natin na to, magbibigay siya ng energy. Ayan, bibigyan niya yan ng energy. Ito, gagamitin niya yan, yung energy na nandyan. In order to create cellular work or in order to proceed with the cellular work. So, marirelease yung isang phosphate natin. So, itong isang phosphate group natin, marirelease yan. So, yung chemical bond doon na merong energy doon, magagamit na yun for cellular work. Okay, so magkahiwalay na sila. So, it will become ADP and phosphate na. Magkahiwalay na sila. So, anong mangyayari na next? So, it is changed to ATP when a phosphate group is added from the breakdown of food. So, kapag meron tayong food from energy, uh, we have energy from food, anong mangyayari? So, yung energy na yon, yun yung mag-aalaw para itong si phosphate group na ito, yung energy gaming sa food natin, magko-combine ulit silang dalawa. And then, it will form ATP. Okay? So, yun yung sinasabi natin that ATP contains stored energy. At yung stored energy na yon, yun yung magpo-proceed at magbibigay ng energy for cellular work. So, once na sila ay magkahiwalay na, paano maibabalik na naman yon? Paano naman siya magkakaroon ng stored energy? We will get the energy from our food. And that energy will restore ATP. Okay. So, let's have the mechanism for you to better understand on what is happening. So, when the third phosphate group of ATP is removed by hydrolysis, so the process wherein we make use of ATP is what we call as hydrolysis. So, a substantial amount of free energy is released. Okay, so magkakaroon tayo ng release ng energy. So, ito yung magiging process natin. So, ATP plus our water. So, itong dalawang ito, these are our products. And then, itong dalawang ito naman ang ating reactants. Uh, ang ating products, I should say. So, these are the reactants. These are our products. So, once you hydrolyze ATP, it will form ADP and phosphate. Okay, so instead of ATP, magiging ADP na lang siya. So, anong nangyari? There was a release of energy. So, saan mapupunta yung energy na yun? Yun na yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina na para sa work ng cell natin. Okay? So, from a higher... Sorry. Let's just erase that. Okay. So, high energy ang ating ATP. So, meron tayong higher energy. At low energy naman ang ADP. Okay? Bakit higher energy? Because of the chemical bond na nabanggit natin kaya na meron tayong stored energy. Okay? So, again, the mechanism happens how? Through the hydrolysis process. So, from ATP okay, into ADP. Okay, so how does ATP give cells energy? So, just imagine itong chain na ito. Diba? So, yung chain natin, magkakakonek yung mga yan. Um, kapag pinaghihilaan natin yung chain, tapos nag-break siya, yung pag-break na yon, magkakaroon tayo ng release ng energy. Okay? At yung energy na yon, sabi niya, ATP breaks apart and releases its energy. Okay, so as you can see her here, ayan, we have our phosphate group. Tatlo sila. So the ones, this is the adenosine natin ito. And ito namang dalawa, tatlo would be our phosphate groups. So once na nabreak ito, magre-release tayo ng energy for our cellular work or for the cellular 
metabolism. So when energy is, always remember this, when energy is released, phosphate bond is broken. So the bond it in between the three phosphate groups, ito, pag natanggal ito, what will happen? So, marirelease yung energy natin. But, when energy is stored, what will happen naman? Pag energy is stored, anong mangyayari? The phosphate bond is formed. So, from ADP, nadadalawa lang yung phosphate group niya, what will happen is that yung stored energy niya, para ma-form yun or para ma-store yung energy na yun, mag-create tayo ng phosphate bond. And that's your phosphate bond. So, keep in mind again that when energy is released, you are breaking the bond. And when energy is stored, you are creating the phosphate bond. So, what do you think happens after ATP breaks apart and releases its energy? Ano kayong nangyayari? Okay. So, it is recharge. So, kailangan na kapag nakapag-release na si ATP, na-release niya na yung isang phosphate group niya. O, nawala na isang phosphate group niya. Release na ito. Release na. Kailangan niyang mag-recharge. Kasi si ADP, itong ADP na ito, hindi na siya, hindi na ganun kataas yung energy level niya. At hindi na natin siya magagamit yung energy niya for cellular work. Ito lang yung pwede nating magamit. Okay? Yung chemical bond dito sa phosph third phosphate group natin. So, kailangan nating mag-recharge. So, ADP, uses energy and gains an extra P. Okay? So, kailangang mag-recharge. Okay? In order to form ADP, ATP from ATP. So, kailangan natin gawin yon. Okay. So, as you can see here, so, si ADP, it's low ang energy niya. So, ano man kailangang mangyari? Kailangan natin mag-add ng phosphate group in order to form ATP. So, saan man gagaling ulit ito? Galing sa food na kinakain natin. That is why, kapag hindi tayo kumakain ng food, mayroon tayong less energy. Okay? Kasi there is more ADP compared to ATP. But when we eat food, this food will energize or will give way para mag-connect na naman itong second phosphate group doon sa third na phosphate group. Therefore, we are going to create ATP. Okay. Again, recharge ATP can assist activities inside the cell. Okay. Indirectly, assisting all activities undergone by our body as it powers up all activities which needs energy. So, kailangan laging ma-recharge yung ATP natin because again, ADP has a lower level at hindi niya kayang hindi pwedeng mag-function ang ating cell. At so kailangan nating i-recharge into ATP. Okay? So I just want to clarify or key points na nandito sa ATP ADP cycle natin. Remember that ATP contains more energy than ADP because it has Okay, then ADP, mas mababa ito kasi higher ang bonds na meron tayo sa ATP. We have three phosphate bonds. Dito naman, we have only two sa ating ADP. The next one, when a phosphate is removed, pag tinanggal natin yung isang phosphate group natin, remember that energy will always be released. Galing sa chemical bond na ito. Yun yung potential energy na sinasabi natin kanina. And, number three, when a phosphate is added, energy is needed. So, pag in naman natin yung phosphate, plus tayo ng phosphate, bakit tayo magpa-plus ng phosphate? Because we need energy. Energy para saan? Para sa cellular 
work natin. Sa work ng cell natin. Okay? So, yun lang ibig sabihin. Pag nag-add tayo ng phosphate, energy is needed. At kapag nag-remove tayo ng phosphate group or ng chemical bond na yan, energy is then needed. I is released, I should say. Okay? So, maliban pa dito, uh, I want to emphasize to you guys that the term that we have, that I have told you a while back regarding catabolic and the anabolic reaction. So, when we say catabolic, saan papasok yun dito na reaction or what is also known as endergonic uh, exogenic Exergonic. Ang ano naman natin ay endo. Okay. So, ibig sabihin. Okay. Pag sinabi nating ana, we are building up something. Okay. So, saan papasok doon yon? So, papasok siya doon sa cellular work natin. Pag mag-work na yung cell. Kasi magbibuild tayo ng something, anabolic reaction. Dito naman sa catabolic or the exergonic reaction, ano namang mangyayari dito? Cut, ibig sabihin, nagbe-breakdown tayo. So, saan tayo nagkumukuha ng breakdown ng energy? Kinukuha natin naman to sa food na kinikreate natin. Therefore, catabolic reactions are reactions na nangyayari from the formation of ADP para maging... ATP. Okay? And on the other hand, anabolic reactions are from ATP. You get the energy from ATP at magiging ADP naman siya. Okay? So, yun yung sinasabi natin na coupled reaction. Okay? So, the catabolic reactions, uh, after that, magsusunod agad yung anabolic reaction natin. Okay? And that creates the ATP-ADP cycle. Paulit-ulit lang yun na nangyayari sa mga cells natin. So, kailangan natin kumain ng food to create ATP. At pag nagamit natin yung ATP na yun, magiging ADP-ATP, uh, ADP, and then another phosphate, kailangan ma-energize ulit yun. So, we get from our food ulit. Paikot-ikot lang yung process na yun. Okay? So, again, we have our ATP as the one that power ups our cell or gives energy para makabuo tayo or makagawa tayo ng iba't ibang pro uh, kailangan natin sa loob ng cell. So, hopefully you have understood the ATP-ADP cycle. If you have questions, just ask. If wala naman, then you can go ahead with the, um, uh, answering your LAS. So, I'll be posting sa group chat natin yung kailangan ninyong sagutan. So, again, it should be submitted 12 noon. Okay? Wala ng extensions para madali nating matrack yung mga ginagawa ninyo. So, you have the whole morning para gawin yung activity. So, that's it. Bye-bye.